infighting and incompetence, Axios brutally tearing into all the ways Biden and his cronies botched the border. According to the report, the White House downplayed jumps in illegal crossings as normal ebbs and flows. Meanwhile, records were being shattered just about daily. The White House didn't want to talk about immigration or the border for Biden's first three years in office, figuring it would, quote, draw attention to a political vulnerability. Well, how's that working out now, you jackasses? Our so-called border czar never wanted the job in the first place. Her team reportedly made it clear her job began and ended with her search for root causes. And what were those root causes? Climate change? So if you're wondering why we have complete and utter chaos at the southern border and from sea to shining sea, there you go. But none of this Do is their fault. Responsibility for what is happening at the border, what the president himself has called a crisis. It certainly is a crisis, and well, we don't bear responsibility for a broken system. Let's bring in former acting ICE director and former Fox and, and current Fox News <laughs> contributor, Tom Homan. Tom, the fact that, they, that that individual still sits there and has the audacity to say that, when this started day one, we didn't need an Axios expose to know what went wrong. We've watched it. Yeah, I agree. And I disagree with the actual stories at some points because I don't think it was chaos. I think it was planned. It was, it, this was by design. They opened that border. That's a part of their plan. And their plans come together very well. In three years, they've had record amounts of illegal aliens crossing the border, record amounts of illegal aliens released in the United States. This is exactly what he ran on. This is what they're doing. This is by design. So they can say they tried to ignore it. They don't want to talk about it. Everybody else was talking about it. But their plans come together very well. The problem is now the election's coming up. And now they're trying to do a 180 on us, and it's not going to work. You know, Tom, uh, uh, there were 90 executive orders uh, implemented by Joe Biden when he got the White House. Um, that's opened up the border. That's caused the catastrophe. And I think they really did think they could turn a blind eye to the border, and so would all of America, including the media. But when you had all of these migrants then funneling into Democrat-run cities and they couldn't handle them, that's all of a sudden when the news started to cover it, and Joe Biden had no answers and still doesn't have answers. Do you think because it's a political liability, like you just mentioned, that Joe Biden is going to get tougher on the border and actually try to fix it? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And look, thank God for Fox News. I'm proud to be a part of this network because we're the only ones talking about it. Yeah. It wasn't for Fox News. A lot of Americans wouldn't even know there's a border crisis. And look, now they're starting to panic because the election's coming up. I'm telling you, the whole reason they, they pushed this border bill two weeks ago is because they're going to push a bill out that the House is never going to pass because it's a terrible bill. So now they're going to say, OK, well, Trump and the Republicans, they screwed up the border. We had a plan to fix it. You said no. You want to make this a political issue. So it's on you. But don't let it be fooled. That plan was terrible. It was written terrible. There's a purpose for writing the plan terrible. So the Republicans say no to it. And they should say no to it. We should not have to let 5,000 people in a day for them to secure the border. Why not one? Why not 10? Why do you have to let 5,000 people in a day before you take actions to shut the border down? You should be shutting the border down at one illegal entry like the Trump administration did. We should be negotiating our national security to secure that border. Shut it down. H.R. 2 was passed by the House. I was a part of making that H.R. 2. That plan will work. How do we know it? Because Trump policies, we've proven it worked. They want to secure the border. Senate should take up H.R. 2, take it off Chuck Schumer's desk, and get moving to H.R. 2. That will secure the border. Uh, Tom, real quick before we go, I keep a, an editorial that was written in May of 2021. So Joe Biden had been in office just a few months. I keep it on my desk, and it's titled, How Many More Deaths on Biden's Border? And it goes through all of the illegal migrants who had di already died trying to get into the United States. And this is the callousness and heartlessness of this administration to lay the foundation for people to profit from this human suffering and misery mm -hmm. and cause this death and hardship, not just with the illegal migrants, but literally everybody who in, in every community in this nation. Final word. You're exactly right. Record number of migrants have died on U.S. soil, 1,700. That's not counting the thousands that died in Mexico in the Daring Gap, which are by the tens of thousands. And, uh, and 112,000 Americans died from fentanyl. When Trump administration had illegal immigration down 83 to 90 percent, when 90 percent less people were coming, 
How many children weren't drowning in the river? How, how many illegal aliens didn't die on, on U.S. soil? How many illegal aliens didn't die in the Darien Gap? How many Americans didn't die of no fentanyl overdoses because the border patrol was on the border, vigilant, shut the border down? Yep. Tom Homan, President so simple. Trump's policy saved lives. Just stop suing Texas and stop cutting the fence they put up. Goes a long way. Tom Homan, always a pleasure. Good to see you.